we've got an OS32 demonstration that we're going to do right now. Uh, Amiga OS32, for those who don't know, uh, was released this year uh, by Hyperion. It is for classic Amigas. Um, represents a uh, basically a love letter from the developers to the classic side of the house. Um, brings in a number of, of patches and fixes that people have been running. Brings in some features from the Amiga OS 4 technology. Yep. And uh, if you have a classic and you use it on a, as a daily driver, then you, you seriously want to look into OS 3.2. Um, I don't know what the plans are moving forward. Um, you, you're a beta tester, correct? I'm a beta tester. And it, yeah, so they are still currently on working on updates for 3.2. Um, that's probably all I can say, but there is work being done still on it, so. Okay. Great. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, so this is, so um, if you have 3.2 ROMs installed, you'll be getting um, uh, this screen. If you hit, they now have um, the help key that can um, bring up this early sort of control or maybe you know, token user with a two-button mouse. So they've added like a lot of shortcut functions too. So you can put, uh, you know, if you want to do the boot options, you can uh, just type uh, the letter O, and you get into, you know, the the, um, the boot option screen. And they've added some, uh, which I'm not sure if, uh, how many have seen these features, but <coughs> um, there's a lot of uh, other like kind of debug features I would say for um, when you want to bring up your um, your partition, your boot partition. Um, so th they have a, like a, you know, you can uh, enable the system log, which will basically log all of the commands that are in your, in your startup sequence into, uh, into the RAM application. So you can look at that later if you had some problems in your startup. Um, if you click on like trace startup sequence, it'll execute each command in your startup and it'll uh, pause there and let you either execute that command or um, let you let you continue on. So um, wh what I wanted to show is, um, and there's an, you know, kind of a different view of the expansion board diagnostic here uh, screen. Um, wh wh I have two installations on this uh, Amiga 4000 tower. One is um, kind of like just a stripped down version, I would say. I mean, it's just a, um, without adding like the glow icons or any RTG graphic card. So I'm, I'm going to boot into that one right now, which is on this partition here. Um, <coughs> for my 4000 tower, it takes quite some time to boot up. I'm thinking it's because of the, um, the SCSI. Uh, I have a, um, a Phase 5 PowerPC card, uh, you know, SCSI controller, as well as the IDE and uh, the SCSI on, you know, you know uh, that's on the, the main motherboard. So, uh, I mean, there's, there's, there are some different ways to install 3.2. Um, you don't have to have 3.2 ROMs necessarily. You can install it on um, even a 3.1 uh, ROM machine. Um, and it, it'll just add those resident modules during the boot process. Um, so this is, this is um, would be kind of what you would see in a, uh, if, you, if you installed it with just uh, you know, like the regular icons, and they've added, um, if, if you have a low end machine, um, this might be a, uh, uh, a, a, you know, kind of a better way to install, but you don't have to worry about the resources of, of look glow icons and some of the other things. Um, but they, they uh, have, okay, so if we go into, um, like the, the tools, or oh sorry, not the tools, the utility uh, system, okay. So they've added um, a help. Um, this is really nice, actually. Um, a lot of the things are now documented in, in the Amiga Guide format. And so um, you can either double click here, or you can just hit the help key, and it'll bring up the um, the 3.2 help. And it's very extensive. I mean, you can get into the Amiga OS command reference, um, and it, it'll you know, I have all the details of how to use those Amiga DOS commands. Um, uh, there's also 
find of this kind of come back, you know, in 3.9 we had a find, uh, and um, in 3.1, uh, 3.1.4, that was kind of missing, um, but there is a find. Uh, it allows you to uh, search uh, within uh, files, so you can say, you know, containing the string, and you can find, uh, let's say, go into RAM, okay, let's say I want to search for uh, uh, version, it'll pop up with this, uh, uh, this this particular file has the word VER in it, and you can open the drawer and then um, it, it'll go to that area where that's, you know, where that's living, so. Um, so now if you go back uh, okay, so w the other thing I wanted to show is some of the shortcuts, actually. It's pretty cool. Um, so if you have multiple windows open, you can um, hit the Alt key and go through all the different windows very fast. So if you have a lot of windows open on Workbench, use the Alt key, left or right, and um, toggle between all of them. If you have a drawer, I mean, it's, it's very, in terms of the, the shortcuts, it's, 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 been, it's been very nice because you can, you know, um, go up or down. I mean, uh, if you go up or down, you go up or down a level. So if you're in this, and you do Alt up, you'll go up to, to the the level of where that uh, directory lives. Um, the uh, let's see the other things. Uh, okay, so so now, now so I'm I'm going to go into uh, and reboot my machine into the RTG mode. So I just want to show you this one. Uh, to give you an idea that if, if you have a low-end machine, again, you can, you can um, uh, and have less resources. And if you wanted to even have less resources in the WB startup directory, you have um, uh, a sign wedge, async workbench, def icons, raw, uh, IB info, menu tools, and auto arrange icons. Um, you know, if, if you have a low-end machine, you can, you know, move the def icons and raw, uh, or a reaction, basically, reaction and workbench, workbench, workbench info outside. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to reboot, uh, and then uh, we can go into the RTG. So I'm, I'm running, a, um, actually, a ZZ9000 card on this uh, computer, so uh, uh, it has uh, basically a flicker fixer and the RTG. I'm using I'm using the latest uh, P96 software. So um, what, what I've done is I, I actually have a USB as well. So uh, I do get this message from MUI. Uh, you know, after 3.8, they had this uh, like a stack check. Um, I, I just can uh, do continue, never, you know, just continue. Okay, and then um, so I have kind of a, a, a I kind of made my desktop kind of clean. I have a lot of partitions, but um, that's one of the features actually of uh, that, that, that was there in 3.9 as well, and it's, it's here too in 3.2. Um, so we can go into that uh, preferences. So if you go into uh, the workbench preferences, you can hide uh, volumes, um, you know, if you have a lot of partitions and stuff. Um, the other thing that's uh, also nice is that, uh, you know, you can, you know, we have a lot of the features that were there, I think, in 3.9, and especially in 4.0. One, you know, of adding like um, information to the title bar, so you can add there. Um, you can change the way the icons are being displayed. Uh, so that's, that's that's really nice there. So now uh, I want to go into the shell just a little bit. So to do a new shell. If the shell has has um, has lots of new features that are uh, really nice. So one thing is. Um, 
there's now a Iconify uh, gadget up here. So um, you can have the shell uh, open up a console window or shell without that if you prefer. Um, that's just one of the parameters that you can add into the, uh, the new shell command. Um, so one of the things that's nice is that you can actually drag uh, a folder or, or directory um, into uh, the shell. And, um, you know, of course, it, you hit enter, you can change to that directory. Um, so that's, that's a really, you know, drag and drop stuff is always awesome. So I, I, this is one of the features I really like a lot. Um, the other one is um, tab completion. So they've added, a, um, let's say, uh, you don't know what the command is for um, ha have roadshow. So let's say I don't know what, what the full uh, command is for show net, net status. So I can uh, type, type show, hit uh, tabs, um, and it should come up with, uh, it may be that I need to go into the directory to, okay, so now this show, it should, thinking, okay. Relaunch the shell actually and see if uh, it should just come up actually if you hit tab. So wouldn't be a live demo if it worked. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, so let's let's try this. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't know why it was. So if you go into CD to C. Okay. And uh, so. Yeah, so I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble there. Um, it completed it now, but uh, it should complete the, you know, or come up with options uh, to let you know what are the options to complete the, the command line. So th there are going to be some improvements in in this for the next uh, update to 3.2. Um, the, the other uh, thing that's kind of nice is uh, they have a... a, a a variable in, um, in in shell is called viewer that will recognize uh, data types. So you can um, let's say go into a uh, a directory like um, uh, let's go into uh, into presets. Let's just go to this. Uh, uh, we go into uh, let's say backdrop. And um, if you, so in order for this to work though, you have to have the executable bits um, not there. But if you, uh, let's say just type in just this picture here. Um, it'll load up multi-view. Uh, you don't have to type in multi-view and it, it'll just load it up like this. So uh, that's actually a really nice nice thing is just kind of a shortcut, right? You don't have to worry about. And, you know, if you if you have um, a different viewer that you want, you can always change that to, to whatever you want this to be. So now this, um, uh, when you install 3.2, it'll probably keep your shell sort of file. Um, but if you don't have a shell sort of file there, it'll create uh, one that's a, uh, um, it has some suggestions in there of, of, of things. So if, uh, I'll show you that right here. So we go text edit, um, S shell, sort of. Okay, and this, this actually introduces also the, uh, the new editor uh, text edit, which is um, uh, there in 3.2. It's, 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 it's a very 
uh, it's a reaction-based editor, but it has a lot, a lot of nice features in terms of being tab-based. You can have multiple um, open documents. Um, before we go there, let me just go through the shell startup uh, script. So there are, these are um, suggestions. Um, when you sort through shell, you can set different uh, variables. Let's say you want to increase your stack size. Um, anyways, they have um, a lot of documentation in here about how to set up different things. And if you want to have your prompt uh, shown differently, they're also documenting how you can uh, add italics, boldface, and such to um, the prompt. Um, so in this in this new um, editor that we got for 3.2, they have um, a way to um, determine um, you know the, your file type if you're in C or AREC, and um, each one of these has uh, options to uh, you know like what kind of highlighting and um, you know do you want to have indentation and and everything. So um, right now we're doing uh, the shell script. So if I wanted to change, um, let's say all the comments to be blue, you know, I can select that, and then you know everything changes to blue here. So it's uh, uh, okay. Then the other. Okay, so if you if you do an, okay, the other thing too is if you if you if you drag a um, if you drag. Let's say some new file in here. Let's go into maybe uh, clipboard. Uh, clip, clipboard. You can drag this, and you can see that it'll uh, add another uh, tab automatically for you. So um, if you have let's see uh, some eager guide, there's some text there. Um, if you wanna do new, it'll add a, a blank one for you, and then you can go back and go in between all of these. Um, so that's that's the new editor, text editor. It, it lives in, I, and always gets confused, confused between system and tool utilities, but it's going to live in one of these directories. Um, here it is in tools. So Tools has text edited. Um, there has there's been improvements for show config. It now um, will come up with a GUI um, and will show you um, you know your memory and the expansion cards that you have um, and some basic uh, things about your your system up here about your processor, um, your ROM version, exec version. Uh, Um, now, if you have, okay, so one thing that's not there in 3.2 is um, like this unarc, which I use quite a bit. Um, this is from 3.9, so you can use um, anything that's been made for 3.9 um, that's like reaction based um, that I've tried so far has been working on 3.2. Um, they've, they've made a lot of improvements in those uh, reaction classes. Um, I believe they were taken from OS4, but been a lot of changes and uh, bug fixes on top of that. Um, so, uh, anyways, this is still works. Um, this is from 3.9. Um, now, the other the other things are a lot of changes in the preferences. So, one of the um, things that you might notice is that the scroll bar on the bottom. Um, is uh, not very thin. I mean, in 3.1, uh, you know, we didn't have any flexibility here to change um, the look of some of these scroll bars and stuff. 3.9, I think we had a you know one-to-one -one, uh, ratio kind of patch, um, but now we have a lot more control actually over that um, in the eye control settings. So I just popped up eye control, and you can um, pick between any of these um, different options. Uh, and so we can try this. We can just say, uh, do that and use it. Okay, and um, when, when, you, when um, you do changes in the prefs, uh, uh, if there is something that's open that needs to be closed for workbench to reset, it'll tell you um, 
you know, the open programs. But right now I have sh uh, the Amiga shell open. So I can close that and do a read. I mean, it'll automatically retry. And um, now you'll, you'll be back into what this would be looking like on, um, you know, 3.1. Uh, now there are some programs like, uh, like D Music is one of them that um, doesn't really like this uh, change. So if I were to, um, well, first, first I'll, I'll load up D, uh, D Music here. <coughs> so this is Deluxe Music. Um, you can see down here, this is the bar uh, using the legacy look. Um, if I were to, uh, I'll quit out of that. If I, if I were to uh, change that to, uh, let's see, back to this one. Uh, let's say, uh, right, right now I have, I have an exceptions list. So if you don't want certain programs to uh, use these appearance settings, you can put it on this exception list. So uh, I have D music there. If I were to remove that, okay, and then uh, use that, um, and actually I gotta go back to, um, also to go back to the, uh, let's say one by one, okay, so I'll use that. Let the workbench go back. Oh. Uh, that, okay. So I think we need to actually refresh on the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the HDMI output, if we refresh it. Yeah, I, I'm going between actually uh, the RTG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, um, so what I did just right now is I, I changed, um, uh, okay, I went back to one one by one ratio for the uh, window borders, right? And I've, I've also um, removed uh, Deluxe Music from the exception list. So now, if I if I were to launch Deluxe Music now, um, you can see this is what it's going to look like. So Deluxe mu Music does not like. Um, you know, having, I mean, it looks kind of ugly down here, basically, so. So if, if certain programs don't behave nicely, then you can, uh, you know, do that exception list and still get things to look good, you know, so. It's oh. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm, I'm switching, again, I'm switching between, um, yeah, so you can see it, okay, here we go. Yeah, so you can see down here, this is the, where the, uh, the one-to-one -one ratio was added. I mean, it's still usable. I mean, it can still work this way, but it doesn't look too nice. So, um. yeah, uh, yeah. So I went back to the RTG, and so yeah, right. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, okay, the other thing that's been added actually is um, a feature so that the pointer um, can have other uh, images besides just a weight pointer, weight pointer, and the normal pointer like this. So one thing, one thing that's um, is enabled actually is in eye control too. Uh, I suppose so. It's actually in um, here. Uh, uh, let's see, I think uh, is it in this? Oh yeah, pointer depends. Okay, so I think this is the. Uh, for, oh, okay. Uh, it's frozen, yeah. So y there, there are options about resizing window and all sides. You can turn that on and, um, and this, okay, I think there was a message saying only new window, so I have to probably, um, but yeah, you, so you can now size um, in, in all corners of the window and you get a, a nice little image of a uh, sizable, you know, uh, image of, uh, of the mouse pointer. So there are actually a lot of images that are now um, available for the mouse pointer, and it's really up to, I think, developers to use these for their programs. But they have um, 
uh, lots of different images on here. Um, that's uh, I think there's 40 images on on this uh, uh, the pointer press, so you can use any of these uh, pointers in your programs. Um, So we also have the reaction press um, right here. Let's see if it's okay. There we go. Um, so this is uh, you know so all, all, everything that's reaction based um, has uh, preferences, and you can also see uh, the preview of any, any changes that you do up here. So if I were to, um, you know, it's like real time. So if I go to thin thick. Um, the preview box will show everything that you're doing here. Um, if you want 3D scroll, scroll bar, so all these things are um, changeable. Uh, so there are some things that might be hidden for some people, that I, I, which I had not realized for some time. Um, in the font editor, there are some new... Um, uh, Besides having, a, let's see, I think it, I think it's only on the workbooks icons. Yeah, so you have these different modes. I think before, before we only had text and field, um, but now we have text and shadow, and uh, text and outline. So there are some more uh, configurations. Actually, I think I saw uh, uh, um, uh, some other people using this here at the show. So this is this is really nice. Got the ASL requester. There's some you know, basic things here that you can change on how things are being sorted and everything by default for ASL. Um, w one thing that's now included is uh, in the uh, data types, we have a full. Um, actually, I probably need to go to the, uh, the dev area. There's there's a, a lot of uh, data types now included in 2.2, .2. so you can open up um, a CDXL uh, files, GIF, uh, PNG, JPEG, um, some forms of AFF uh, and and WAV and even ICON. So um, that's a nice added uh, feature for 2.2 .2 there. Um, Yes, sir. Are there any questions or? Because um, I'm probably I'm probably getting close to yeah, I'm, I'm getting close to the two o'clock, so I just want to make sure that I'm. There's a couple of questions on the chat. Uh, Edmunda on the chat asks if there's a way to drag a window and still see the icon from the window as you're dragging it. Because right now it's just dragging an outline, and he's just wondering if there's a way to drag the. Uh, the windows around and still reflect the icons in there. Oh, I see what you're talking yeah. about. Right, 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 right. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, not pinpointing too directly. I know there's like a, there's like a Verbi program or something. Mm -hmm. Or there's some other programs that uh, can attach to the system to do that, but yeah, not not pinpointing too directly. Okay, so there's a third party program that maybe can enable that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those are kind of, I mean, I. Personally, I kind of uh, don't really want to attach my system in that way because we can try to tell the other public that um, there's options there. Uh, yeah, but, uh, just a few other things would be, um, first we got reaction based info um, here at uh, kind of that. Uh, we have the reaction classes. Um, Oh yeah, uh, really good. Uh, I actually now I'm just remembering that we've got one really, really uh, nice feature, um, and that's ADS. That actually is like, like one of the main things that I've liked about 3.2, um, and I want to make sure that I'm sure that it's like most of it is on the phone. So, um, So this is an ADS, I just, I just double clicked it, 
and not just like a lucky person. Mm -hmm. So, um, all the controls, uh, is just really, I mean, there's, 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 there's a DOS program called uh, DA control. That will allow you to mount and eject uh, a PDF. One thing that's not included in 2.2 is like a huge way to ingest, but um, there's been a couple of implementations of handling it uh, that people have done. One was a, uh, like an error script. Um, so I do have a, um, uh, a tool item that says eject PDF and it will just remove from my uh, workbench. So um, there's also, I think somebody wrote uh, an Amos, I believe it was Amos, so there's a Anyways, there's another implementation of the same kind of thing where you can adjust the ADF image. So, um, we go into a new kind of shell and uh, the, 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 the shell command is um, DAH control. And there's a suit of options. Um, so these are all the options. And of course, we don't know what the options are. We can always do help and go into um, the command reference, and it'll, it'll have all the details in there about a DA control. Uh, questions for Brian? Going once? Going twice? Okay. Thank you, Brian. Yep. Excellent uh, Me Too overview. You can also get a lot of data on YouTube. Uh, George, yeah. from yeah. earlier, uh, Lockrow, has, uh, what, what, 12 parts now, where he's, like, dissecting each piece and yeah, spending his time of, Yeah, there's a lot of things on the, on the net about 2.2, but it's a good thing, too. Yeah, so it's uh, definitely a great resource. Um, I need about a minute to run the HDMI cable from that side of the table to this table to uh, get the splitter going so we have the audio the video on our place. Excuse me, one second. Um, let me cut to uh, to uh, another camera here so that while I'm ripping this all apart. So big round of applause for Brian. Yeah, so if you're on 2.9 and uh, if you haven't upgraded to 3.2, mm -hmm. um, it's one thing is there's, there's 3.9 is not being developed anymore, so if you want any bug fixes and stuff like that, it's not going to happen. And you do have um, all the reaction classes that have lots of improvements over 3.9. Um, one of, again, one of my Best features that I see of 2.2 is again the mounting of ADF files. Um, uh, yeah, so I think those are the main things there. Um, so yeah, I, I would I would go with 2.2 just to uh, be able to have that continuous support and knowing that you're going to be getting uh, fixes later on of any issues. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, so the question was, uh, if you're on 3.9, what would be the reason for me to uh, go to 3.2? Okay, and uh, with 3.1.4 myself, I used the scripts uh, uh, by, uh, what's his name, Gulliver. He yeah. created a script to upgrade your 3.9 installation right. to 3.1.4, and that worked perfect on my machine. Yeah. And then I upgraded from 3.1.4 on that same machine, and it kept all of the, the customized 3.9 stuff intact. Okay. Is there an upgrade path, easy, from 3.9 to 3.2? Now that the reaction is part of the operating system, is it just a matter of reinstalling over itself, or do we still need a custom script? Um, yeah, so that, right, so the question is, um, if you want to go from 2.0, I guess, if you have 3.1.4 with 3.9 there, uh, is there an easy way to upgrade to 3.2 and keep all the 3.9 stuff in there? Uh, I am not aware of any scripts 
Did that to do that presently? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I personally, I don't think you really need to have two point nine. Um, if you really want to run some of the reactor-based things that are there on two point nine, um, like the Amidoc, maybe or something like that, um, you just install a component on top of two point two. And it should, I mean, I haven't actually tried it myself, but it should run. Um, I think it would be great if we had maybe added to the FAQ for Amiga OS 3.2 uh -huh. a section on 3.9 on where people can get and download these, yes. uh, the utilities that came with 3.9 yeah. that we know and love, like the MP3 players and the audio players, and just put links in there so if people want to right. get as close as possible to Okay, here's the links to get all the stuff that Yeah, 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 that's true. I mean, and some of the stuff you can you know, get an Aminet too, right? And that's, but yeah, that's true. I that's suppose you're going to do that. Yeah, that's a good, that's definitely a good point. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a good point. Um, I think that's a good point. Yeah. 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 Ye